Welcome to the Edinburgh Lake Watershed Association's online video series. In this video we're going to introduce you to the concept of a watershed and take a quick tour of Edinburgh Lake and its watershed using Google Earth. So if you're all ready to start, fasten your seat belts and we'll head on down to Edinburgh Lake. A watershed is the total land area where rainfall and snow melt uh, eventually flow into a lake or stream. The area shown in green here is the Edinburgh Lake watershed. Uh, you can see all the streams that flow within that area and eventually enter the lake. Uh, the total area of the watershed is around 17 square miles or uh, right around 11,000 acres. The mission of the Edinburgh Lake Watershed Association is to try to improve the quality of water within the lake. If we're going to do that, we can't just look right at the lake itself, but we have to look at the total land area where rain and snow that fall uh, eventually uh, provide water to the lake. So we have to look throughout this area shaded in green and look at how we're using the land. We have to look at all the various activities that are taking place within that area and try to figure out how those activities and land uses are impacting the lake. You can get a good idea of the size of the, the watershed um, if you just look at the area from Eureka Road on the west, Old State Road to the north, and Hamilton Road on the east. Uh, and then uh, Route 6N forms sort of a boundary uh, to the south. Edinburgh Lake is a natural lake formed about uh, 10 to 15,000 years ago uh, during a period um, that geologists call the Pleistocene, but it's commonly referred to as the Ice Ages. Uh, the, the, the glacial origin of the lake is described in a separate video uh, in this series. The level of the lake has been raised about 10 feet uh, by the dam at the outlet of the lake. The dam uh, that, that is currently there was constructed in about 1922, uh, but uh, there's been a dam um, on Edinburgh Lake uh, since the earliest European settlers arrived in this region uh, around 1802. Uh, some of the older dams were located a little closer to the lake than um, the current dam is. Uh, the area of the lake itself is a, just right around 250 acres uh, of, of surface area. And uh, the lake itself is about 30 feet deep at its uh, deepest part. Uh, studies done by students in the geosciences department uh, at Edinburgh University have determined that the, uh, the deepest part of the lake uh, has been about the same. Uh, it's been about 30 feet deep uh, for at least the last couple of hundred years. Um, the shallow areas uh, around the edges of the lake, uh, however, have, um, have, have been filling with sediment uh, rather rapidly um, since the completion of the, of the dam. At the north end of the lake is a natural area uh, that's known as the Edinburgh Lake Fen. Um, a fen is a swamp or a wetland uh, that's fed by springs. And this will show you uh, the area of the fen uh, there in green. Um, uh, springs from the gravels north of the lake 
uh, flow into the fen and uh, create a very unique sort of a situation where uh, the water in the fen is very alkaline. It has a, a, a pH uh, of uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about um, eight or nine. Um, and uh, because of that, there's a number of unique plants that grow uh, in the fen. Uh, this picture shows the, how the fen looks uh, from the, the lake. Um, and within the, the fen, there are 23 plant species of special concern, uh, 11 of which are endangered uh, in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, because of this, the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy considers the fen to be a uh, natural area of global significance. If we just swing our view a little bit to the north, uh, we can see an area at the north end of the lake uh, known as the Fingers. Um, the, the, the Fingers area was a wetland very similar to the Fen that was dredged in the middle 1950s. Uh, the purpose of the dredging was to create uh, land areas that were suitable for housing development. Uh, and you can see kind of right here, especially in the, in the middle of the Fingers area, uh, that a lot of those land areas that were created by the dredging have now sunk under uh, the lake level. Um, the Fen's a great place to go uh, to bird watch and kayak uh, and fish. It's a wonderful natural area. Uh, and uh, the downside of the Fingers uh, area uh, being uh, uh, the, uh, present there uh, is that the dredging created channel ways that allow sediment uh, to pretty readily flow uh, into the lake. If we head up to the north, we find uh, the General McLean High School campus uh, with General McLean High School and James W. Parker Middle School uh, located there. And um, the, uh, the uh, General McLean campus is the site of a, a stormwater uh, best management uh, project uh, that was uh, put together by the Edinburgh Lake Watershed Association. Um, stormwater best management practices or BMPs include a variety of strategies for reducing or eliminating water pollution caused by stormwater runoff. Thanks to a grant from the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection Growing Greener Program, three BMPs have been constructed on the General McLean campus, uh, each demonstrating a different approach to capturing surface runoff so that it can be filtered and remove pollutants. Uh, those BMPs are shown here in red. Uh, there was a rain garden constructed um, near the high school, uh, an infiltration trench along the margin of the parking lot at the middle school, and a vegetated swale uh, constructed along uh, General McLean Drive. Uh, each of these BMPs is um, described in a separate video uh, in this series. We hope you enjoyed this uh, little video tour of uh, Edinburgh Lake and its watershed. Um, we hope you look at uh, some of the other uh, videos in the series as well. Uh, if you would uh, like to uh, ask us any questions or contact the Watershed Association, uh, you can reach us at uh, the following email, uh, edinburghlake at edinburgh.edu. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, remember that uh, while it's important for us all to uh, work to preserve and protect uh, Edinburgh Lake. Uh, it's also important for us to get out there and enjoy having such a wonderful uh, resource within our community. Uh, so get out there and boat and water ski and fish and bird watch, kayak, uh, whatever it is that you enjoy doing at the lake. And uh, we'll see you on the lake.